Hi everyone, we meet again to solve another Singapore math problem. This problem is applicable for grade 5 and also grade 6. It will be introduced in grade 5 generally and it's applicable for grade 6 as well. James had some money. He spent $84 on computer games and two-fifths of the remaining money on books. If he had one-third of the original money left, how much money did he have at first? This is also called as a part-whole problem because you know you take the whole amount and then you're dividing it into parts and then trying to figure out what was uh, the missing quantity. So now we'll start from here. James had some money. Let's draw a model for this. Let's say James he had a lot of money because he's going to spend that money here. So we are going to show like this. The whole thing is James money. He spent $84 on computer games. Let's assume just this $84, right? He spent it on computer games and two fifths of the remaining money or two over five of the remaining money on books. What it means is the remaining money he divided into five parts and two parts of it he spent on books so he is dividing the dividing uh, the remaining money into five parts and two of those parts or units he's spending on books if he had one third of the original money left how much money did he ever have at first so see whatever he has now this is one third meaning one out of three parts if you divide the total amount of money into three parts then this will be equal to one part right so how can we visualize that let's say this is going to be one unit if this whole uh, um, uh, the diagram is divided into three parts so this is one out of the three parts, right? And we know that this one unit actually can be divided into three units that you see here. This is actually equivalent to that. So let's do that same thing here. And these are equal sized units, which means this will also be three units and this will also be three smaller sized units. We can divide exactly like this. And so we get three here. And now when we take a look at it, this, we know that one, two, three, four, five is already here. So one, two, three, four, five is already here. So what we have left other than this five is one, two, three, four units. That exactly is what corresponds to the $84. So four units is equal to 84. So these four units is equal to 84. So one unit is 84 divided by four, which gives 21. And so in total, how much are there? We can either take it as one, five units, five times 21 plus 84, or the total number of units that we see here is three plus three plus three is nine. So nine units, which is nine times one unit is 21, 9 times 21, which is equal to 189. So James had $189 at first. And this uh, problem or this level of problem is generally given for primary five or grade five students. Um, I hope this was helpful. Now we're going to move ahead and see how to solve the same problem using algebra. James had some money. He spent $84 on computer games and two-fifths of the remaining money on books. If he had one-third of the original money left, how much money did he have at first? So we know that James had some money in algebra. We used to represent the unknown quantity with alphabets. So James, let's assume that the money that James had is X. Right? Before we go on to the equation part, let's look at some way of visualizing what is happening here. 
X is the total amount of money James had. And then he spent $84 on computer games. And he will have some money left here. Right? That is X minus 84. That is the amount of money he has got left because X is the total amount of money out of which $84 have been spent. So the remaining money would be this minus this X minus $84 and he spent two-fifths of the remaining money on books. So this is the remaining money. So he spent two-fifths of this meaning 2 by 5 of x minus 84 or 2 by 5 times x minus 84 this quantity two-fifths of this quantity is that is this quantity is the remainder so he's spending two-fifths of that for books and it says if he had one-third of the original money left original money you know is actually x so he had one-third of the original money which is x left so what he has got left is one-third of x now if i want to find out uh, or write an equation see what I can say is he spent some money here so this is the remainder this plus this should give me x is that right yes so now this remainder is again split into two parts here so this is what he spent and this is what he has left so all those that are left like 84 plus the money that he used for books plus whatever is remaining when you add all three you should get the original amount of money which is equal to x so now using this information let's go ahead and write a formula 84 dollars plus two-fifths of x minus 84 dollars plus one-third of x should be equal to x. 84 plus two-fifths of x minus 84 plus one-third of x is equal to x. So next step, we, I'm just going to rewrite it so that it's easy for um, those who are new to algebra. 84 can be written as 84 over 1 plus 2 by 5 times Again, this is times here, off means times here. x minus 84 can be written as x minus 84 over 1 plus 1 third of x, which is the same as 1 over 3 times x over 1, which is equal to x over 1. Now, you can see that 2 times x when you multiply we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together right so we are going to actually um, do the multiplication get them into different terms so 2 times x and 2 times 80 minus 2 times 84 that will be the numerator here the denominator will be 5 times 1 and in this case again 1 times x and 3 times 1. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. So the next step would be 2 times x, 2x minus 2 times 84. Oh, this should be 2 times 84 here. Uh, that's missing. And the denominator 5 times 1 is shown here so here again x over 3 because 1 times x is x 3 times 1 is 3 so here I think there is a mistake here I'm left out here 2 times 84 should be here yeah that that is be there is a mistake here remember that has been corrected in this step here so 84 over 1 plus again this can be uh, no, separated into 2x over 5 minus 2 times 84 over 5. The 2 is missing here, 2 times 84, because 
we are multiplying 2 times x and then 2 times 84 it's missing here uh, I think that's a mistake here so please take note of that and it's corrected here 2 times 84 over 5 plus x over 3 is equal to x over 1 now see all these fractions uh, we cannot leave them like that we want to convert it into a single fraction which means we want to make the denominator the same that is the first step and if you want to make the denominator the same what uh, are the numbers in the denominators 1 5 and 3 so we have to take an LCM of 1 5 and 3 to illustrate that I'm going to rewrite this uh, equation in this manner I'm just giving spaces so that I'm going to show you how the LCM is going to be used uh, I hope you are familiar with the LCM or the lowest common multiple the LCM of 1 5 and 3 lowest common multiple of 1 5 and 3 is 15 right so we are going to make all the denominators 15 which means in this case I have to multiply the denominator by 15 every time we multiply the denominator we also multi have to multiply the numerator by the same value so 15 here here how do I make this 15 5 times 3 so the numerator should also be times 3 again here 5 times 3 to make it 15 so the numerator will also be times 3 here 3 times 5 will make give me 15 so the numerator is also multiplied by five <clears throat> we are only looking at the left hand side right now so we don't have to touch the right hand side okay so that would be 15 times 84 that you see here 15 times 84 I'm taking those constant terms first 15 times 84 minus this is 3 times 2 is 6 6 times 84 I'm leaving them as that because it's easier you will see later we don't have to multiply this first right so let's just leave it like this and then for the x term 3 times 2 is 6 6x six so 6x and then plus 5 times x 5x the whole divided by 15 because each of them have the same denominator which means we can write them like this all right so now this 15 can be cross multiplied 15 times x and 1 times this whole thing so there is no change on the left hand side right so on the right hand side 15 goes here 15 times x and 6 plus 5 x 6 x plus 5 x is 11 x now when we look at these 15 times 84 minus 6 times 84 what is common in both terms 84 is common we can take 84 out so 15 minus 6 times 84 and that is equal to we are bringing the 11x over to the other side or in other words we are subtracting 11x from both sides so this is my plus 11x minus 11x this side will get cancelled on the right hand side we have 15x minus 11x so here this is one way you can reduce the number of calculations that you have to do in your equations whenever you find that there is a common term you can take that out so that now I don't have to actually multiply uh, bigger numbers right I can get 15 minus 6 will give me 9 so I, I can just multiply 9 times 84 so 4x is equal to here it is 15 x minus 11 x is 4 x and that is equal to this 15 minus 6 is 9 9 times 84 remember see here I'm not multiplying 9 yet 9 times 84 8 I just want to wait because 4 x is equal to 9 times 84 which means x is equal to here divide by 4 4 gets cancelled so here also divide by 4 now for you know that 84 is divisible by 4 and we can easily find out what is the factor 4 times 21 gives 84 so that 
would be 9 times 21. 4 times uh, 21 is 84. That, so it, the result would be 9 times 21. And that gives 189. So the amount of money that James had in the beginning was $189. I hope this was uh, useful. I try to go a bit slow. If you are already familiar with algebra, this would be a breeze. Uh, for those who are very new to algebra, this might look like as though it's a bit complicated, but really not. If you know algebra, if you uh, have some practice in algebra, you will soon uh, find that this is just a breeze. You just an easy walk through problem. Uh, thank you very much for uh, visiting my channel. Uh, do subscribe to my channel and if you like the videos, click on the like button and if you want to see future videos from me, click on the notification icon and the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. So as always, happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you.